everyone, it's Sevi. While Yan Fei is normally built as a main DPS that revolves around a charged attack and reaction playstyle, there's another strange but interesting way to play Yan Fei that's popular in the CN community and has gotten more attention over the past months. This build, earning the moniker Tank Fei, transforms her into a shield support that offers a feasible alternative versus other dedicated shielders like Zhongli, Toma, or Diona. I've been trying out Tank Fei for a while now, and in this video, I'm going to discuss the mechanics behind Tank Fei, how you can build and use her in teams, and my overall experience. Let's begin! So first of all, how exactly does a main pyro DPS do a full 180 and transform into a shield support? Well, this isn't exactly an easy change as it requires unlocking her fourth constellation, so either you've accumulated copies of her over the past year or just got lucky on one of her banners. This is because her C4 lets her generate a shield when she casts her burst. The shield's health is based on 45% of her max HP and lasts for 15 seconds. This means that Yen Fei's build will have to stack as much HP stats as possible in order to generate a competent shield, more so since she has a much lower base HP versus other HP shielders. And unlike most other shielders whose shield is tied to their elemental skill, Yen Fei's shield is from her burst. The challenge is that it costs energy to cast, and it isn't exactly cheap with a burst cost of 80. So aside from HP, Tank Fei will also require ample energy recharge, otherwise that shield won't even be used that much to begin with. Now, when building her artifacts, offensive stats get thrown out the window and HP and ER stats are our targets. Her circlet and goblet will now need HP main stats, and we can get more HP by equipping a two-piece tenacity on her. Then for the sands, do we stack more HP, or is ER a better choice now to address her energy needs? I went with an ER sands with HP substats as I believe that is necessary for her burst uptime. And for additional help, putting on a two-piece emblem set or the exile and scholar sets for the 20% ER is a big help. From my experience, you need around 200% ER plus if she's without another pyro teammate. But with a pyro teammate, I could get away with 180 to 200%. So a two-piece tenacity, two-piece emblem is the easiest option, but an alternative set is the four-piece noblesse, which makes her an attack buffer as well, at the cost of HP and ER stats that is. As for weapons, there are a couple of catalysts that provide either HP or ER as their main stat, which in principle should be okay with her. However, that one catalyst that elevates her role as a support to do more than just shield is the prototype Amber. This allows her burst to not just generate a shield, but also heal your team and generate energy for them. If you're committed enough, refine the prototype Amber as much as possible. With higher refinements, you can get away on the lower end of the recommended ER since it refunds so much energy for you, not to mention it heals more. But other alternatives can be the Thrilling Tales for its HP and attack buff, and the Favonius Codex for its ER and particle generation. However, the prototype Amber is the best in terms of utility and convenience. So aside from having to get her C4, this is a very low investment build. Talent levels don't matter as the shield is completely dependent only on her constellation. All the substats you'll need are HP and ER. The prototype Amber at R1 just requires one billet and it's already good to go. With this build, Tank Fei is now a shielding, healing, energy generating support. That's basically great value for occupying one slot in your team and it frees up other roles in your team too. The question then is if Tank Fei's shield is good enough to replace other dedicated shielders, how thick can it get? My fully level 90 Yan Fei with a prototype Amber, HP Circlet, HP Goblet, ER Sands, and 2P Tenacity is able to get 32k HP. Of course, this could go higher if I had better artifact rolls, but let's use this as a baseline. For shield health, 45% of 32k is about 14k. Comparing this to Toma and Diona's shields, I used an older test video as reference. A fully leveled, full HP build and well-invested Toma and C2 Diona with level 11 talents can get up to 17k and 12k damage absorption respectively. A fully leveled shield bot Zhongli with a level 10 shield and 50k HP has 21k shield health, but Zhongli has a shield strength stacking passive 
effective and potential 100% uptime, so the resulting damage absorbed is more than that. Considering this tank Fei isn't as well built as them in comparison, and she's not even a dedicated shielder like them, her 14k shield health is quite impressive. The other thing to consider is its uptime. Her shield lasts for 15 seconds, but the burst has a cooldown of 20 seconds, so without other cooldown shortening effects, that's 5 seconds of downtime you have to contend with, which isn't that bad for a makeshift shield. Though you need to be more conscious about funneling energy and inserting her skill in the middle of team rotations to generate those pyro particles and battery her. Her skill also generates 3 particles with a 9 second cooldown. The particle generation could be better and the 9 second cooldown means it's not easily spammable like Bennett's skill. Using it as often as possible in your rotations is something you have to get used to eventually. With a decent HP build, enough energy recharge, and proper batterying, I'd say that this shield is competitive. No wonder her shield support utility earned such high praise. So what teams can tank face slot in? Generally speaking, she's a universal enough shielder that will do the job. Again, her role is to shield, heal, and refund energy, things that any team could make use of. She also helps achieve pyro resonance in case there's another pyro on the team. But there is one comp wherein she shines and with good reason. This is composed of Hu Tao, Sing Cho, Tank Fei, and an Animo Veridescent Venner user like Sucrose or Kazuha. The Tank Tao or Hu Fei team, or whatever you want to call it, is where she becomes an attractive alternative even over Toma. It opens up the possibility for more conveniently shredding pyro resistance by another Animo VV unit. Hu Tao alone with another VV user makes for a bad rotation to try shredding pyro, so another pyro unit is necessary to apply pyro, have it swirled, then switch to Hu Tao's DPS window. Bennett could do it, but he heals too fast for Hu Tao and that team will have no shield. Toma is able to fulfill this role well, since he has fast pyro application and a strong shield. However, he has the potential to steal some vape reactions from Hu Tao due to his burst ticks. Yan Fei then is the other candidate for this role. Her pyro application is a one-time thing, so you just need to use her skill or burst for shielding and AoE pyro application, swirl it, then switch to your Hu Tao Sing Cho vape combo. And unlike Toma, she has zero risk of stealing vape reactions. It's a great team that can be preferable over the Toma variation. As for other teams, a Ganyu Melt comp along with Bennett and Shengling works if you need a shielder in that playstyle. With that, Tank Fei can assume the role of Zhongli or Diona if you don't have them. Squishy characters could always use a good shield. Some examples off the top of my head, a team with Xiao, Bennett, Tank Fei, and a fourth flex slot could be a good pick if you don't have Zhongli. And the Pyro Resonance bonus is a good buff for Xiao. A Yoimiya or Diluc Vape team is also a viable option, but if you have other teams in mind, Mind, let me know. So is Tank Fei worth building? I think that if you have no other shielder at the moment, or maybe you need another shielder for the second team in Spiral Abyss, she's a good choice. And doing so lets you have a 2-in-1 unit for different situations when you need her as a DPS or shielder, although you'll have to prepare two different builds if ever, which is a lot of resources to sink in. But if you already have competent shielders, then building Tank Fei will be more like a novelty side project. The best team comp she opens up is the Hu Tao Tank Fei combo, and perhaps where the idea might be more tempting. But despite that, she's still a universally competent shielder replacement. I personally wouldn't force or risk my pity pulling her just to get C4 even if I just need one copy, but that's up to you. As of publishing this video, you can also get a free copy of her in the Lantern Rite. I won't recommend getting her C4 while other characters have more valuable constellations waiting to be unlocked like C2 Beidou or C4 Shengling, so maybe just wait until she comes along another time. But if you really want to target C4 Yanfei, manage to build her well, and slot her in teams that need her, I think she won't disappoint. So everyone, that's going to be it for this Tank Fei video. If you're interested in building Tank Fei or have built her already, let me know your experience in the comments. And if you're looking for a DPS Yanfei guide, I'll leave it linked in the description alongside other guides you might need. If this video helped you out, don't forget to leave a like, consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon. Take care.